was dragged around and pummeled down and pushed into the water. I was vilified and mortalized as this baptism for holy daughter. So we're, we're in the center of Moscow and the Kremlin is on my left and behind me uh, is the um, the Moskva Hotel, which is a, a building that I mentioned in the book and the movie of Despite the Falling Snow. And uh, it's, it was built during Stalin's times, and one side of the building is built differently from the other side. And it's something that Katya in the novel points out to Alexander as an example of um, Stalin's capriciousness, that the architect submitted two different designs and Stalin signed both. And so he was so terrified about what to do, he built one half one way and one half the other way. So it's just, um, I, I just love that story and I put it into the, into the novel. I was dragged around and pummeled down and pushed into the water. I was vilified. We're here for DLD in Moscow with the Kremlin behind us. First day, loving it. St. Basil's Cathedral. Smoke filled as I recognize your smile amongst the jeering. Then I knew I'd drown, I'd be swallowed down. Cause my love, you were standing there cheering. Question number one this week is uh, we've been together for 16 years and somebody asked why did you only get married six years ago? Well, we're going to let you guess the answer to that. Number one, we're still thinking about it. Number two, we're married. <laughs> I got, I'm, I'm not very decisive. I wanted to make sure I was making the right move. Still, jury's out. <laughs> For me. <laughs> Medley says that. Number three, it only became legal six years ago. Yeah. Um, however, having said that, Hanan picked the particular window six years ago when we were in pre-production where I can't think straight to organize a wedding. Right? Yeah. Why did you do that out of interest? I don't know, I just thought we were going to be busy for the next few years oh. making films. For a holy daughter Not in such murky, not in such murky, not in such murky water What happened was, you know when you're in Russia, and I just read John Steinbeck, and uh, the people were just having vodka for breakfast, and it was happening all around us. Tumblers full of this stuff. I'd never drunk vodka before, I was a wine girl, and uh, I thought we'll give it a go. And everything seemed to be going really well until we actually stood up from dinner and uh, I don't remember what happened after that. I, I think I might have fallen into an elevator. The next morning I don't remember packing, making it to the airport. It was horrific. It was the last day. It's never happened to me before. I hated every minute of it. It's never happened to me since. I'm back to Bordeaux. Question number two, why did you write a novel set in Russia? In the Soviet Union in the 1950s. She likes a challenge. Because <laughs> I like a challenge, clearly. Um, I think to me it doesn't matter, uh, my personal background as a writer, what matters is the themes that we're talking about and I really wanted to explore how do people stay in love, fall in love when they have completely different viewpoints and ideologies. We all know that attraction can happen, but can a real um, passionate love affair last when you look at the world in completely different ways? Communist, capitalist, spy, government, drama, drama. All I thought I knew got washed right through when naked I was left there shaking. All the twisted stairs and knifing snares, they carved me up into tokens for taking. And I just hope that Hanan doesn't go from almost arrested to totally arrested. <laughs> I say, yeah, you know what, I say, the more they say LGBT is illegal and not acceptable, what have you, the more I say to them, get a life. <laughs> yeah, I agree, and you have to have the courage of your convictions, and I just want to say that I'm not gay. <laughs> I don't know who she is. 